Hello everyone, and welcome back to the series where I talk about some trivia on the Japanese culture or language and some nuances that were lost in the translation from the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of an anime. In this case, for the episode 22 to 25 of Spy Family. The two spies use fake names for their mission, being Twain and Nafalia in the English sums both trying to be close names to Twilight and Nightfall. I wanted to just quickly mention what they were in Japanese. Galesso from Tasogare and Tobari from Tobari. A Japanese expression is used when Lloyd is saying that the opponent won't be that easy to beat. Hitosuji nawa janai. This expression is often used as Hitosuji nawa dewa ikanai to talk about something that is not gonna be straightforward, that you won't be able to deal with it by ordinary means. In a literal sense, it means something similar to it won't work with just one row. And the origin of its meaning goes back to the Edo period, where a task, for example in agriculture or carpentry, will be seen as an easy task if it was possible to accomplish it only using one row. A task needing more than one row was then seen as something that is not gonna be straightforward to complete. There's also been a couple of different references in this episode. The disguise that Fiona has is most certainly a reference to an old popular tennis anime from the 70s named Aim for the Ace. Fiona looks exactly like the character Madame Butterfly or Cho Fujin. The retired pro duo named Wilson and Babol are probably linked to the Wilson and the Babol brand that sells tennis related gear. And the brothers Anan and Catabolic are from two types of steroids, anabolic and catabolic. At the end of the tennis match, when Kavi Campbell, the main organizer of the event, realized that he lost his bet, and get interrupted by someone that relays him a message. He used the expression Mizuo Sasuna to say don't ruin this moment. The expression that conveyed the meaning of something being interrupted comes from a literal sense of inserting water. The origin of the meaning comes from putting water into hot water when cooking, thus lowering the temperature of the meal and diluting the taste. From that, came the meaning of introducing a nuisance into something that was in a good state. This is easily understood by the context, but when Fiona and Yor are having a tennis match, and Fiona says that she lost, in Japanese it's written as Makedu. There's two ways to write that statement. Both are read the same way, and having the same meaning of losing, but the difference is that the one used in that scene is used when you are directly talking about losing to another person. In the same scene, she also used the expression kampunakimade to mean that she stood no chance. The literal sense of that expression is that you were beat up until not having any unwounded skin anywhere on you. When we discover that what was behind the secret code of the painting was photographs of young actresses, they use the term Buromaido. This is a term used in Japanese to talk about commercial photographic portraits of celebrities, including geisha, singers, actors and actresses, and sports stars. It's the pronunciation of the element bromide that was one ingredient in the making of photographs. That term was popularized in Japan by the Marubel Company in 1921. During the scene in the bar, when Yor is drunk and is thinking that Lloyd and Fiona are in a relation, she also said God damn! which is the Japanese pronunciation of God damn. Not sure why they didn't include it in the sums, since it was also said by Damian in a previous episode. God damn it! When Becky explained her plan to make Anya appear cute, to make Damian head over heels for Anya in no time, she used the expression Ichikoro, which is an abbreviation of Ichigeki, one hit or one attack, and Korori, the sound of something light falling or rolling. From that came the meaning of defeating someone too quickly with just one hit. 
and can also be used like in this instance when talking about love and to easily make someone fall for you. When talking about cold hard cash, the Japanese term is Gennama, being a slang from Genkin cash. The Nama part comes from the Edo period, when the salary of the merchants in the surrounding of Kyoto was called Sho, which can be interpreted as Ra, to make a distinction between being paid in goods or in raw money. Nama is a different reading for the same kanji. In the scene between Donovan and Lloyd, when Lloyd gets his offer rejected to make it up to him for what Anya did, he then has the inner monologue of instant rejection. In Japanese, he used the expression nibemonai to say that Donovan's response was point blank. The literal meaning of that expression is without a croaker, a type of fish. Those fish are known to be really sticky and are even used in some adhesive and glue. The known strength of the adhesive was then associated to someone easily making strong bonds with other peoples, and not having that describes someone who is terribly blunt. When Lloyd reminds himself to not be too persistent, or it could backfire and ruin the operation, he used Mizunoawa, literally bubble of water, to convey the meaning of something that can easily be popped and become short-lived. In the English sums, Lloyd says that he is interested in attending one of Donovan's lectures, but the word used was Koenkai and can be interpreted more closely as an election committee or support group. When Lloyd is telling Damian to not tell Anya about their conversation and that he's pretty sure that she doesn't dislike him, he describes her as a contrarian. The term used is Amanojaku and it's the name of a type of demon from Japanese folklore. They are often depicted as a small oni that always does the opposite of what they are told to do. It was also used in a plotline in the 2019 anime adaptation of Dororo in episode 19, where Dororo was saying the opposite of what he wanted to say because of an Amanojaku. I want to also mention that when Lloyd was talking with Donovan, he was talking very politely, addressing him as Sosai, party leader, and addressing Damian as Goshisoku, a polite way when talking about another son. That's all for this video and the first season of Spy Family. If you like that series of videos, you know what to do. Like this video to let me and YouTube know if you want more of those type of videos. Comment about the thing that you found the most interesting or surprising and also on what other series you would like me to cover next. And of course, subscribe if you want to have more chance seeing when I upload more stuff. Anyway, it's the end of this video and I'll see you next time.